Greetings to everyone out there and welcome back to Around the Clock. Alright, this isn't going to be one of my regular news videos. We're going to have a bit of fun with this one because I noticed something kind of strange at last week's Direct and that's the fact that most of Nintendo's big name titles coming to the Switch console this year involve the number 3. Now, we're not going to start with Pokemon Legends Arceus because there's nothing really there. We're going to start with Kirby in a Forgotten Land because this is Kirby's big 3D adventure coming to the Switch console in March. After that, we have Triangle Strategy, which is an RPG named after a shape that only has three sides. And what's funny about Kirby and the Forgotten Land and Triangle Strategy is that both games release in March, the third month of the year. Next up, in April, we have Advance Wars 1 Plus 2 Reboot Camp, and there's really nothing there, but hey, 1 Plus 2 does equal 3. Now, in June, we have two big game releases. The first is Mario Strikers Battle League, and I know there's a lot of people going to be saying that there's no 3 there, but it is because... This is the third game in the Strikers series. We had Mario Strikers on the GameCube, Mario Strikers Charged on the Wii, and now Battle League is coming to the Switch in June. Also, for those of you who didn't know, Battle League will only take up 3 gigs of storage if you download this game from the eShop. Next up, we have Fire Emblem Warriors 3 Hopes, and do I really have to say anything here? The name should speak for itself. We also have Splatoon 3, which is supposed to be released this summer. We don't have an exact release date as of yet, but hey, this is the third entry in the series. In September, we have the big game release of Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Again, there's nothing I need to say here, the name speaks for itself. We also have Bayonetta 3, which is scheduled to release in 2022, but we don't have an actual release date. And finally, we have The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild sequel. Now, I know this is a sequel, but it's actually the third game in the Breath of the Wild universe. We have the original Breath of the Wild, we also have Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity, and now the Breath of the Wild sequel. So hey, like I said, this wasn't going to be one of my normal news videos. This is something that I just noticed and I hope you all enjoyed it. Now, before we end this video, I have to inform you that this is the last week for our Best Buy Black History Month affiliate program. Down in the description box, there's a link titled Best Buy Black History Month. When you click on that link, it'll take you to Best Buy's official webpage. What's great about this affiliate program is that you don't even have to buy anything to show your support. Every time you click on that link, I will receive a commission of 42 cents, which goes to supporting this channel so that very soon I can host live streams, have giveaways, and do a lot of things for this channel that I've been planning for a very long time. So please, click away at those links because every single click helps up the channel in a major way. With that being said, that's going to do it for this video. And what are your thoughts on everything that was discussed here? Please let me know down in the comment section. And please, take a second to like this video, share this video, and subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. And as always, remember to keep it locked here at Around the Clock, where here, we focus on Nintendo news content around the clock. I'll catch you guys in the next one.